With the rise of Hissy and Dream ending his Manhunt series, many more Minecraft Manhunt YouTubers have come to the spotlight and have proven to be better than Dream himself. In this video, I'll be telling you about the top 10 best Manhunt YouTubers in the whole of Minecraft. As the video goes on, the better the Manhunt YouTubers get, and at the end of the video, I tell you the new best Minecraft Manhunt player of all time. You won't be able to guess who it is. At number 10, we have possibly the smallest YouTuber on this list with only 570 subscribers. He is extremely underrated and has possibly some of the best terrain navigation. His parkour skills are some of the best and he is a pro at surviving at only half a heart and has actually done some crazy things like this. He is one of the few YouTubers who actually makes entertaining non-scripted manhunts unlike those people who try way too hard to impress everyone with complex clutches. He is genuine and actually has outtakes and this person is Edhead. At number 9 this person was an ex-professional speedrunner and has completed the game in under 14 minutes. He actually has good hunters and some crazy fast skills. He is very very technical with the game and has pulled off some crazy plays like this. He's even done a double spleef in a non-scripted manhunt and he's actually good at PvP. This person is AirPods. With number 8, this YouTuber is very well known for his insane clutches like this. He can always MLG in almost any scenario because of his incredible spatial awareness and his godly clutching ability. Although some scenarios do seem set up for content, the skill required to pull off these clutches are over the roof. His videos are genuine and he's really good at PvP. This person is Poglin. At number 7 we have a very interesting YouTuber who does really cool manhunt challenges. He's done 7, 8 and even 10 hunters and has gotten very far. He has done some crazy hard challenges which have put him in a mega disadvantage, such as these. This guy is one of the most slippery players and he can escape any of the hunters with the best adaptability. Just look at some of these clutches. He has actually good speedrunning skills and doesn't script and this person is Bablu. At number 6, this person is a very quick thinker and it's evident that he's a professional as just look at his movements and PvP skills. Although you may not be able to see how good he is entirely from his Manhunt series, you can see some of his previous unscripted clutches. He is the best crafter on the list and has been able to escape the most intense situations with just his knowledge. He is the best at timing things, just look at this, he managed to fall into an arrow to boost him towards water. All this credit goes to Matt Lopita. At halfway through, we have have one of the highest ranked PvP players in the world. He can destroy up to 8 people at once all on his own with nothing. He has crazy plays like these and it's so evident that he's a professional with an insane speedrunning ability. He has the best parkour of any Manhunt YouTuber and is actually the best at fighting on this list. He is very technical and knows the coolest useful tricks. This person is Ogmo. At number 4, I don't need to say much about this person as the whole community probably already knows a lot about him. He's an ex speedrunner and he's very comparable to Dream and he's done plays like these. He can easily outplay the hunters and trick them psychologically. Just look at the videos. He can escape any scenario and is very OP at PvP. This person is Tobias Gaming. In the top 3 slots, this person has slight bias since I'm in his videos, but nevertheless his videos are the most entertaining on the list. He's the only one in the whole world to have fully completed the 6 Hunters and 7 Hunters Manhunt series. I can confirm he has done the best unscripted clutches on the list and can actually fully outplay the hunters in any scenario. He has made some of the best escapes like this. He's in a crafting table. He's in the crafting table. He actually knows a lot about the game and the community, and not Vixios easily ranks at number 3, as every video has an insane clutch without a doubt, and he'll always use his big brain. At number 2, this person always does unscripted videos. Although he's very very small, he's the only person in the whole community to have genuine unstaged plays that happens in the moment. He has done 13 hunters and has actually survived until the end. He is insane at PvP and all the professional players I know said they couldn't survive again. Against him. Just look at these plays. This person is the panda that's red and you need to check him out. And finally, this is the best Minecraft Manhunt player of all time. I'm convinced he's the smartest player in the entire world as he literally knows everything about the game. Although some videos are staged, he has the best clutches and knowledge of the game. Just look at the background footage and you can see some of the MLGs he pulls off in every video. He is so creative and one of my favourite plays is when the hunters spleefed him into the void and he went onto his alt account to make a void platform to save himself. His videos are such high quality quality and they are jam packed with plays, traps and even psychological escapes. Just look at these, oh my god. He's the only one in the community to escape the hunters in unique ways and have insanely unique and adaptable clutches. He's the best at PvP and the most adaptable of them all. He knows a bit too much about everything, so I can conclude that the best player in the whole of Minecraft Manhunt is anything Spark and I believe everyone here should go subscribe to him.